This morning I was scrolling through my feed and something really caught my eye. Something I wasn't expecting but I am pleasantly happy to say is totally awesome and exciting. Stability AI, the company that brought us Stable Diffusion, has a brand new AI image generation model that they just released. Yup, that's right and boy oh boy is it ever competitive. Welcome friends to Stable Cascade. This is an AI image generation model that's a little bit different from the typical Stable Diffusion and Stable Diffusion XL that we've seen from Stability AI, but uh, right off the rip, look at these results. Quite beautiful, very realistic and detailed. You'll notice the big thing here is very, very nice and realistic text as well that looks properly displayed in all of the images and is properly spelled as well. This is better than the last Stable Diffusion model we saw, Stable Diffusion XL. And the best part about this is, hey, open source, welcome to Stability AI. They release all of their stuff open source. Yes, there is a little bit of an asterisk with the open source. We'll get into it. It is for all intents and purposes though, open source software. So yeah, what you're looking at right now is the GitHub code base for Stable Cascade. They provide training and inference scripts for those who want to get a little bit more involved, as well as a variety of different models you can use right off the rip. So this is built upon a different architecture. It's called the Wurstin architecture. I probably butchered that so bad. So the main difference with this kind of a model versus something like your regular Stable Diffusion is that it's working with a much smaller latent space as a whole. The smaller the latent space, the faster you can run inference and the cheaper the training becomes. And look at how good these images are for having a smaller latent space and being able to be generated just as fast. These are better than Stable Diffusion XL, I would say. How small exactly is the latent space in this regard with this new architecture? The example they use is that Stable Diffusion has a compression factor of 8, so a 1024 by 1024 resolution image is being encoded to 128 by 128. Stable Cascade achieves a compression factor of 42, which is orders of magnitude larger, meaning that it's possible to encode a 1024 by 1024 image in just 24 by 24, while maintaining very crisp reconstructions, as we no doubt see. So the text conditional model is then trained in that highly compressed latent space. Previous versions of this architecture achieved a 16 times cost reduction over stable diffusion 1.5. And I mean, the cheaper we can have powerful AI technology like this, the more democratized it's going to become. And and that, in my mind, is the best goal and the obvious outcome for AI that we should all be pursuing. It's something near and dear to my heart and is one of the reasons that I always support open source AI. Furthermore, all known extensions like fine tuning, LoRa's, ControlNet, IP Adapter, LCM, etc. are possible with this method, the worst in architecture. A few of these are actually already provided, like the fine tuning, ControlNet, and LoRa, so the most popular, and that is able to be found in the training and inference section. Actions. They've also got some benchmarks just to show actually how uh, impressive this is. I mean, take a peek at this guy's prompt alignment. Obviously, how well does the resulting image align with the original prompt? Playground V2 honestly did a pretty good job here, but Stable Cascade edges that out just a little bit more. SDXL Turbo, this thing is quite a bit better than SDXL Turbo at prompt alignment. And in comparison to regular SDXL as well, still a noticeable increase in quality from Stable Cascade. And then the original Wurstian V2 model versus Stable Cascade, it's quite a lot better as well. Now, aesthetic quality is a different ball game here. You can see that Playground V2 actually edges the model out a little bit in comparison to Stable Cascade. Now, aesthetics are you know, that's largely going to be opinion based, but for as much as we can define it in statistical terms, it is better than both SDXL Turbo, SDXL, and that Wurstin V2 model. Very impressive stuff. So this is really focused on the efficiency of these models themselves, despite the largest model from Stable Cascade featuring 1.4 billion parameters more than Stable Diffusion XL, it still features faster inference times, as we can see in this graph below. So this model is larger than SDXL. It's better looking than SDXL and it's 
like twice as fast. SDXL at 50 steps, we get a 22 second generation time. And as you can see, that's cut down to around 10 seconds with Stable Cascade. Of course, you're not going to beat SDXL Turbo with that insanely fast generation at only one step, but the quality here is orders of magnitude better than Stable Diffusion Turbo. Again, it's better than SDXL is, while being twice as fast to generate. Here's some more really incredible examples. Again, this thing could be competitive with Midjourney, and the fact that it's open source and completely free, that's in a whole league of its own. We've never seen anything like this. And then um, on this page, they also have a model overview if you guys are interested in the architecture itself. I'm not going to get too deep into this stuff. I'm just letting you know it is here and it's going to be linked down below if you want to get a little bit more technical. That's not really what I focus on on this channel. So running the model can be done in a variety of ways. There's already free options that I'm going to go over in the end of this video. They've got some examples of each here, just the general text to image, cinematic photo of an anthropomorphic penguin sitting in a cafe reading a book and having a coffee. God, these general generations are so darn impressive. I am excited to try this model out today. Really awesome stuff. Like we got to compare this thing to Dolly 3 and Mid Journey. Then of course, image variation. We all know what this is. We upload an image. It could be AI generated or not. And it's going to give us variations either with or without a prompt. So very similar images resulting here. Very impressive, honestly. And of course, image to image. Again, you can upload an image and a text prompt and see what you get out of it. Really switching up the overall theme of the the image or the design of the image really again stunningly uh, impressive results stuff like this with you know a human riding a giant mouse that's difficult for these AI models to produce a lot of the time also available in the diffusers hugging face library which is cool to see they also have a control net notebook as previously mentioned just baked right in here this gives you in painting and out painting functionality which already looks like it works pretty darn amazingly we've also got face identity here this basically allows you to upload any face and then have it just put into your generation really awesome this isn't released just yet though we've also got canny here which basically allows you to draw structural outlines and have them generated into images as well as super resolution which obviously this is upscaling we'll have to see if this competes with Korea AI and Magnific but that's also awesome to see I mean this is a this is a whole case of goodies being given to us for free by stability again here's the Laura where we can train the model on our own images we have um, the specific dog being generated as a space dog they also have image reconstruction and again this is a little bit more technical this is for training your own models so again if you're interested in that this is definitely something I'd take a look at because it's pretty interesting so yeah like I said this relatively speaking is open source let's actually get into that and again we're going to play around with this model I'll show you how to, you can use it for free today this is where I originally heard about it right here on Twitter from Thebud Zamora Mora announcing this brand new model. Someone in the comments pointed out that it doesn't have a good quote unquote license, to which the original poster replies with that it's actually under this MIT license. You can see commercial use, modification, distribution, and private use. Essentially pointing out, what are you talking about? This is a good license. It's the MIT one. However, we have a rebuttal here. Isn't that just the code question mark? The weights on Hugging Face have a different license so it's this stability ai non-commercial research community license agreement but don't get so upset yet because we actually have a reply from the quote-unquote king himself emad who is the ceo of stability ai the the man in charge here says that all initial new model architecture releases are under nc non-commercial licenses while we test and refine and then adjust so he's essentially saying that once things are all said and done this will be released under a commercial use license that anyone can access but it is completely free to download it is relatively open source or at least some of it is open source like the code but the weights right now are non-commercial but that seems like it won't be forever all right so where can we actually use this thing well ak here on twitter provides us an unofficial hugging face demo to this thing and here it is i can't promise that due to the um popularity of this release this isn't going to get entirely clogged up i mean i haven't even tried it yet so just as a warning this might not work i'm going to try to find other links for you guys though and they will be in the description below so let's let's just just try the Matt Vid Pro prompt. 3D render of an anthropomorphic lemon character wearing sunglasses and relaxing on the beach. 
Oh, there we go. Our generation has begun. You can see this different architecture method in play as it generates. Okay, and here's our result. Mm, first impressions on the lemon character test, not impressed by this one. However, these stability AI models often require a little bit of fine tuning and finesse to get them to produce results that are sometimes incredibly competitive with the best of the best from the likes of Dolly 3 or Midjourney. So let's increase the guidance skill. Decoder guidance skill. There's new stuff that we can mess with. Decoder inference steps, prior inference steps. Ooh. We'll try some negative prompt here. I up the guidance skill just a little bit. Let's give it a rerun. Ooh, look at that thing generate in real time. There we go. Okay. He's a little bit better. I like this guy. Let's give him some arms and legs though. Oh, there we go. Our generation coming in. Check that out. Hey guys, not too bad. Look at the hands too. This is pretty darn impressive. I like this guy. Okay. Okay. I see what you're getting at. Stable Cascade. Ooh, impressive. Uh, we don't have to just do lemons, though. Let's actually try some more diverse prompts. Let's try a very specific automobile. I'll warn you guys, both Dolly 3 and Midjourney consistently get this one incorrect. Ah, close but no cigar. Very similar to both Midjourney and Dolly 3 in that regard. Can we do famous people? Oh, we absolutely can. Gotta love open source AI, guys, honestly. Hey, not a bad Obama! That's a pretty good generation right there. There's a little bit strangeness going on with the realism, I think. Like, this isn't very photorealistic. However, let's see if we can actually fix this with a negative prompt. And we'll actually add a little bit onto it as well. Man, this is just honestly so exciting, guys. I love stuff like this. I'm a little bit sad that we don't have commercial terms yet, but man, is it just exciting to have a really nice quality model back in our hands from Stability AI. It's felt like like forever since we've got that. Yeah, again, this is maybe a little bit better in some ways, a little bit worse in some ways, but the realism's tough. All right, let's let's uh, knock down the guidance skill a little bit. Oh, it just feels so awesome to experiment with a quality, nice, open source AI image model again that just feels exciting and fresh. Excuse my hype, everybody. I just get excited. Okay, maybe it's a uh, limit from the architecture, but we just don't get the same level of realism that we would hope. However, I'm sure you could run these through an upscaler like Kriya and photorealisticize it, essentially. Because again, this has like this slight animated drawn feel to it, even though it's a pretty accurate image. Let's get complex. I'm going to take you guys back to the Dolly 3 landing page here. We're going going to nab some of these difficult prompts, like an illustration of an avocado sitting in the therapist chair, etc. This is a really difficult prompt. So let's start off with this. I am going to pull up Dolly 3 in a different scenario, not this launch scenario, so we can get a really accurate comparison. We'll toss that in with no negative prompt at all. Let's give it a go. Okay, check that out. Definitely not better than that initial Dolly 3 image, but we got some pretty decent results here. You can kind of see the avocado's face. Uh, the text is clear close but not perfect. Uh, again, I'm going to influence that guidance scale a little bit up. We'll try uh, two generations per. And you can see the raw results from Dolly 3 here aren't necessarily as good as that original Dolly 3 example right here. So that's kind of why I wanted to generate some fresh ones. But you can see that it gets the text uh, perfect pretty much every time. And the avocado and the other character as well, they're both separate. So Dolly 3 is a really good model. Uh, and you can see Stable Cascade still not all the way there. However, this one is open source where Dolly 3, I mean, no chance you're getting that open source. So you could absolutely take this technology and build off of it to create a better image generation model that perhaps competes with Dolly 3. And that's sort of how Stability AI has been able to have this insane influence over the AI community and AI growth in our world as a whole and the democratization of that AI technology. But still, this is impressive. This is more impressive than you would get with Stable Diffusion XL. Uh, you know what? Let's try the same exact prompt in Midjourney. And here you can see the example of Midjourney V6. I would say that Stable Cascade is definitely competitive. It seems to prompt a little bit easier than Midjourney maybe at times, or maybe perhaps Midjourney just needs a different prompt to produce the results we're looking for. But yeah, these are nice. However, we don't really have the uh, the same basics. It doesn't get to this level of prompt comprehension. Photograph portrait of a tabby cat dressed up as Mario from Super Mario Bros. He has a fake mustache and is trick or treating 
in the fall. The moon can be seen behind him. So we're asking for uh, quite a lot of complexity here in this prompt, and it's a pretty naturally spoken prompt as well, which can sometimes trip up models like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. So we'll see how that goes. We'll also toss this into Dolly 3, and we'll also toss it a Midjourney. Okay, dang, right off the bat, Dolly 3 just comes out swinging. Yep, that is a cat. Tabby cat dressed up as Mario. You can see the moon. It's definitely fall, Halloween, portrait style. Yeah, that about gets everything I was looking for in the prompt. And we have our generation beginning. Okay, I like this result for sure. Got the moon in the background, portrait style, tabby cat. Got the Mario hat in there. No mustache, but still really impressive. And now Midjourney. I gotta say, Midjourney also crushed it. Honestly, very competitive with Dolly 3. A little bit more realistic. Definitely dressed up as Mario. We got that fake mustache in three out of four. Got the moon in the background in three of them as well. Really, really awesome. Honestly, really impressed by all three of these models. I think the winner here has got to be Dolly 3 just in terms of prompt coherence, but still, Stable Cascade is not far behind at all. And this one is free. This one is open source. This one is actually going to change the AI art generation market as a whole. It has a huge influence just because it is open source. Well, try another very difficult prompt. Scene from Breaking Bad. Walter White eating a Big Mac inside of McDonald's. There are blue crystals in the Big Mac burger. Walter White is dressed in a yellow hazmat suit. Not easy for these image generators. Let's see it. Oh, Dolly 3. Unsafe image content detected. Ooh. Again, one of the downsides of not being open source. This is big sad. Can we try this again? I don't understand what is... Is it Breaking Bad, maybe? Remove the Breaking Bad part? Oh, wow. Not again. Unsafe image content detected. Well, that's all the tries you get. You get a DNF, a failure, Dolly 3, for being so worried about everything. Okay, here's what Midjourney produced for us. Again, this is a really difficult prompt. You can barely tell he's in McDonald's. This one definitely looks like McDonald's. I'd give this one because you can see the McDonald's sign. Probably this one as well, just because we can see the McDonald's in the corner. He's eating that burger, but... I'm really uh, struggling to see the blue crystals, only see them in this one down here in the corner that are kind of coming off of his mouth and falling on the burger, so that's unfortunate we don't see that. This is absolutely, though, Walter White in that hazmat suit, no denying. Okay, and honestly, from Stable Cascade, we get some pretty similar, if not worse, results. Again, um, with these stable diffusion models, oftentimes you'll need to do negative prompting, you'll need to tweak settings to get your perfect result, but hey, it's free access, so you can actually do that, whereas Midjourney, oh, I gotta worry about my credits, Dolly 3, sort of the same thing. This will all be linked down in the description if you're looking for other forms of access. Let's say you want to run it on your own machine locally. This is already available on something called Pinocchio, with a one-click launcher to get Stable Cascade as a Gradio app. Again, this will run locally on your machine works on Windows, Mac, Linux, already up and running. Again, this will be through the Pinocchio app, which is a phenomenal app. Definitely worth checking out. Hey, check it out. We got some good text here. Pinocchio holding a sign that says AI wants to be open. Pretty impressive, I will say. And again, the community is already going to work with this thing, doing all kinds of custom stuff. Check out this by AI Warper, a 1024 by 496 wallpaper, you know, a super, super wide angle image. You just got to admit, it's so exciting to see good quality open source models get released out like this and a huge props to Stability AI for focusing in on that. I know a lot of people are upset that you don't have commercial terms just yet. I think that they will release this commercially in the future. But yeah, I am really, really happy uh, with this release. I'm going to be keeping my eye on it. I can't wait to see what people build off of it. I bet more videos will absolutely stem from this in the future. So get subscribed as we explore the future of our AI world. No, the model is not better than Dolly 3. No, it's not better than Midjourney, but it's very competitive. It comes close. It's better than SDXL, and guess what? This one is free. This one is open source. This one can be run locally and privately. This one is uncensored. This, this is what really drives the industry. It really is. You can see the code. You can see the weights. You can see the architecture under the hood. It's driving the future. I love to see it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.